Oops. Let me air dots. They are small. They are light. They are wireless, and they cost a fraction of the price that you'd have to pay for, say, the Apple AirPods or Bose's uh, wireless solution. So, are these the best budget Bluetooth earphones that you can buy? Well, let's find out in today's video. Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech, and let's take a close look at the Mi Air Dodge today. If you do end up liking this video, please don't forget to turn on notifications by clicking that bell icon. And as always, here's a card to a monthly giveaway. Check it out if you haven't yet. Now, before we start, for those of you who've seen my review of the OnePlus Bullets wireless, you know I prefer Bluetooth earphones that have a wire in between than the truly wireless ones, since I just find them more convenient for day-to-day -day use. Not having to carry the case and constantly, you know, pop them in and out of the case and all that. What about you? What kind of Bluetooth earphones do you prefer? One with a wire in between or something totally wireless like these Air Dots? Let me know in the comments below. Well, since customs have already opened the box, there's no real unboxing to do. I'll still show you what we get inside the box, of course. We get the Air Dots themselves, housed inside the charging case, and a micro USB cable for charging and a few replacement ear tips. The case and the Air Dots have a white top with a soft touch finish. The earbuds themselves are held inside the case with the help of magnets, and they charge through the two contact pins at the bottom of the case. The lid of the case also uses magnets and closes with a satisfying snap. Enough about the case though, let's try these buds on. Now one of my issues with truly wireless earbuds has always been the fact that they'd slip out, or at least the fear that they would slip out. While on the move or while shaking my head, I always keep thinking about it, thinking about how they'd fly off and get lost somewhere. Well thankfully, that didn't really happen with the air dots. The seal inside the ear is pretty tight, which means the earbud stayed in place no matter how hard I shook my head. Good job Xiaomi. Now, the tight fit also ensures really good sound isolation, which I think is something a lot of us look for in earphones. But more on audio quality later, first let me give you guys a physical overview of these tiny little earphones that weigh in at just around 4.2 grams. We have a translucent top on the air dots. You can see the glowing red or white indicator LEDs that are embedded just underneath the surface. These LEDs are used for the pairing process and act as charge indicators when you pop the air dots into the case. Since the top of the case is also translucent, you can see the air dots charging through them in the dark, which is quite a nice feature. Also, this part right here, that's touch sensitive. So you can use the surface on both the earbuds to do some stuff like receiving calls as well as play and pause music. The biggest problem that I faced with the Mi Air Dots, it's gotta be the pairing experience. First up, I feel it's unnecessarily complicated. I'll try to walk you through the process, but honestly, every time I have to go through the process, I just think of the Bose Soundport free and how easy it was. Anyway, here goes the process. First, we place both buds in the case. Then pick them up and hold the touch sensitive part of the Air Dots till both buds show a red light. This means they're off. Now again, hold the touch sensitive part of the bud and keep holding them till you see a red and white LED flash. Don't let it go just yet and keep holding them till you see one more red and white flash. This second flash denotes that the buds are now paired to each other. Now we need to put the air dots back in the case, leave them for a short while and pick them back up again. Then open Bluetooth, pair new devices and if followed through correctly, you should see only the right bud available to pair. You can now pair them and then test to see if both buds work. Once paired, managing the air dots becomes much simpler. You pop both of them into the case and close it and it automatically disconnects. Open the case and pick them up and if you have Bluetooth turned on your phone, they should automatically connect to them. The operative word here being should. The Air Dots showcase some really erratic behavior and sometimes outright refuse to pair with certain devices. So pairing this to a new device or whenever it got disconnected was an absolute pain. Now to be fair, the latter isn't something that happened quite that often. The range on these two earbuds seemed fairly good. Bluetooth 5.0 meant that we had pretty decent coverage and I only had to reconnect them once or twice. One time, I just wandered too far and the other time, I guess it was a weird issue. Where suddenly the earbuds decided to mute all media volume. Now the second time may not have been a fault of the buds themselves, we may have accidentally put the air dots on mute. But honestly, the gesture controls have quite a steep learning curve, I don't really find them intuitive. Now all this doesn't mean that the air dots are crap, far from it. 
there are a lot of things Xiaomi has got right. The volume levels, for example, are pretty good. And because they're so light, they feel fairly comfortable as well. Of course, that lightweight does come at a cost, the cost being battery life. It is a little below industry standard for totally wireless earphones. Together, these earbuds are rated for four hours of continuous stereo playback. Okay, so we are nearing the end of this video and we haven't really talked about the most important aspect of any earbuds, the sound quality. So let's remedy that right now. I'm gonna play some audio. So let's, let's see how this fares. The Air Dots sound rich with ample amounts of bass, especially considering the size. The 7.2mm drivers in these things pack quite a punch and while they aren't gonna satisfy a bass head for anyone else who are looking for just a bit of oomph to their tracks, the Mi Air Dots will do a fine job. I'm quite impressed with how good this pair sounds. I know these headphones even have support for the AAC codec, good news for anyone interested in high fidelity Bluetooth transmission. Of course, as I've said, we do have the tap controls on the gesture sensitive area, but the lack of volume controls and the inability to skip tracks kinda irked me. Xiaomi has bound two taps to calling Google Assistant. Now, as much as I like Google Assistant, I personally like to skip tracks a lot more. Is it just me? What do you think? Would you want the ability to skip tracks more than Google Assistant? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, all that said, the biggest pro for the AirDots has gotta be its price. You can't really ask for more, it's 199 yuan, that's about $30 or 2100 Indian rupees. Xiaomi has managed to come out with a compelling first gen product here. Sure, there are some software quirks that definitely need to be worked out, but the look and finish of this device as well as that sound quality have left me really impressed. To be honest, you can't really expect the same level of performance as a more expensive Apple or Bose are offering, but Xiaomi in setting their goals high have come out with a product that is really impressive. If and when it comes to Indian shores, expect the AirDots to be priced somewhere around 2,500 to 3,000 rupees. At that price, I really think this would be a killer deal and might set the existing Bluetooth headset market on fire. That's just what I think about the Mi AirDots. Now it's your turn to share your thoughts on this. Would you like to see them in India? If so, at what price? Let me know in the comments down below. And with that, it is time I bid you adieu. Please share this video with friends and family if you can. Thumbs up, thumbs down, based on what you feel about it. Also subscribe and turn on notifications by clicking that bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of my daily content. So thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name is Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech, and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day.